Come over here, cameraman. Turn your camera to the east. No, the other east. Hello, everyone. I'm Buccaneer Dave to lead you all on your next scouting adventure. But before I tell you what that is, let's look at what I just found. A note in a bottle by the lake's edge. What could that be? Maybe this will be a clue what our next adventure will be about. When you take it, it says clues to a treasure. It says start east on a road by the lake that goes to the flagpole by the outdoor chapel. The next clue at the flagpole. Can you find it? I bet we can. Oh look, there's another map. It shows the lake, shows the lake that goes by, I mean, and the road that goes by the lake, the flagpole, and the symbol for the outdoor chapel, and there's a north arrow. I bet we can use these to figure out how to find the treasure. So I think our next adventure is going to be how to use a compass. And when we know how to use the compass correctly, I bet we can find that treasure, don't you? Before we go on our adventure, I want to explain two things first. One, what are the two types of north? And the second would be the parts of a compass. But first, let's talk about the two types of north. A lot of you may already learn this in school. This is a globe, a map of the earth, and here's uh, America, and Los Angeles is in this location where we live here. First type of north is called true north. True north is in essence the North Pole. And it's in lo that location there. Some of you when you were younger knew that was where Santa Claus lived. So true north is the North Pole. Now the second north is called magnetic north. And magnetic north today is in northern Canada in this spot right here. And Magnetic north, the importance of that is that's where your compass points. Your compass does not point to true north. Your compass points to magnetic north. Another thing, a fun fact about magnetic north is that it moves. So in 10 years from now, magnetic north may be in this location right over here. So it moves. And the reason why there's a magnetic north in that location is usually beyond my pay grade to understand, but it has to do about the rotation of the planet about its axis and the fact that the interior of the planet is molten magma and that creates a magnetic field around the earth. So that's the two different types of north. True north and where your compass points to is magnetic north. And now to talk about the parts of a compass. Hello everyone. Now we're going to talk about the parts of a compass. Everybody uh, bring out your compass and you notice that a lot of the compasses come in different sizes and shape, but they all predominantly have uh, the same similar parts. And this is the compass I predominantly use. But for right now, for instructional purposes, I'll bring out a larger compass, which is easier to describe on how to use this one. So there's three parts to the compass. The first part is the plastic base. It's called the base. And as you notice, it's clear, so you can see through it. And that will become more apparent when you go into Scouts BSA when you use the compass with a map, because you need to see features through the compass that are on the map. So that's why it's clear. But one of the most important aspects of this compass is that it has what we call a direction of travel arrow. So in this compass here, it's, it actually shows an arrow that says direction of travel, or some compasses will just show a straight line, or some compasses will just show an arrow. But this is a very important item. You also have scales on the side, which can be used later. But right now, I just want you to, uh, to focus on the direction of travel arrow. So this is the base plate. The next aspect of the compass is the protractor, this item that is circular and that can spin around on the base plate. And if you notice, the base plate ha is divided into degrees around the edges right here, and it has the degrees marked from like 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 
and you have to interpolate between like this if this is 60 then that mark here would be 70 so the degrees are marked also on the compass if you notice there are the north is labeled the south is labeled the east is labeled and the west is labeled and a lot of times when uh, people study the uh, compass the orientation and they may forget it's north east south west or an easy way to remember it never eat soggy waffles so this is the protractor and also on the protractor there is something that's really important as we have a box in the center that looks like a north arrow this is called the north box right here the north box it also has some parallel lines which you'll use uh, later when you go into scouts bsa with a map and these lines are called orienting lines but right now you don't need to know that the only thing you need to really remember is this north box on the protractor. Then the last part of the compass is the magnetic north needle. And it will point to magnetic north. And typically the north end is point, pointed red and the south end is pointed white. So when we put all the three parts together, we got the base plate with the direction of travel. We got the protractor and we have the magnetic north needle right here so this makes up your compass and i'll show you how to use these components all together okay again we're at this road and now we're going to go east on the road but instead of using the smaller compass again, like I was explaining on parts of a compass, I'll just use the, uh, the larger instructional one so it's easier to follow along. So, the remember the, why I said the direction of travel is real important? So we want to go east. So we take our protractor and line it up with the east on the direction of travel because that's the way we want to go. So that's why it's real important knowing the direction of travel. And now we have our magnetic north arrow right here. And we now put, now we need to go in the east direction. So the way we do it, we hold our compass level and initially the magnetic north will not be in the north box on the protractor. So you hold it and you, and it may look silly, but you do like a little baby steps in the little circle holding your compass straight. And when you do that, the magnetic north arrow will turn, keep on, and it will turn, and you stop when the magnetic north arrow is directly over the north box on the protractor. When that is done, you stop. That means you are facing in the east direction, which is your direction of travel. And you can look down that way. So we see the road right here. It's going in the easterly direction. So this is where we start our hike. So we start hiking on this road in the east direction and eventually we'll end up at the flagpole by the outdoor chapel. All right, we're right close to the flagpoles. Come with me and we'll see if we can find the next hint to the next point. And look, right at the base of the flagpole is the hint to point two. And it says point two can be found by going on compass heading of 90 degrees, going 36 paces, and a hint it's going to be by a rock. And it says, can we find it? Well, I bet we can. 90 degrees, 36 paces, and the rock. Okay, let's get out our compass. And the direction of travel, remember, we, we're going to put, for the direction of travel here, we're going to put 90 degrees. So remember, we have to look at the numbers on the protractor. We have a big number for 80 and a big number for 100. So 90 is right in between with this longer line. So we line up 90 to the direction of travel. And if you notice, 90 is the same thing as east. So it looks like we are going to go east again. So then we hold our compass level right at our uh, mid-level, and then we start to do, remember the little baby steps in a circle, even though it looks crazy? 
until the magnetic north needle lines up into the north box on the compass. And when you do that, I'm just showing you, I'm tilting this as a demonstration, but actually you hold it like this. When that lines up, that means your compass is set and you look down the direction to travel and you, and you look at something way down that you could recognize and walk to like a tree or a big rock. So I see something that we can walk to, which is like a tree, and I'm gonna count 36 paces. And remember, a pace is two steps. So every time my right foot hits the ground, I'm counting one. So let's go. 35, 36. Well, I think I've walked here. Oh, look, I look down, and here's the hint to point number three. So we followed our bearing really well. And remember, do not walk down like this because then you can trip. It's best to walk at, with uh, the point in mind straight ahead. So you keep your eyes ahead. Don't keep on walking like this because you can trip on something and uh, injure yourself. So the next point, it says 70 degrees on the compass, 26 paces, and the hint is a stump. So let's see if we can find this. So 70 degrees on our protractor to the direction it travels. So this is 60, 80. So we put 70, another big line right there. Then we remember to hold the compass steady. And then we're going to rotate our body until the magnetic north needle is inside of the north box on the protractor. So you take little steps, or it's not exaggerating, by holding this. And when you do that, when the magnetic needle is in the north box, then you hold it and you look straight down that line from the direction to travel, pick a tree or a rock or a mountaintop that you can hike to. So this time, we're just going to go 26 paces, and the hint is a stump. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. We found it, the stump. And look, there's another hint. This is the last hint. This is the point number four. Can we find it? It's at compass heading 330 degrees, 26 paces, and the hint is a tree. So 330 degrees, 26 paces, and the hint is a tree for the last point. Let me get that together. Put that down. Okay, remember now we take, we find our direction of travel, we go 330 degrees. So here's 320, 340. So the big line in between is 330. So that is where we want to go. Okay, then again, remember, we uh, put the compass at our midpoint. And then we go in little baby steps until the magnetic north needle lines up into the north box on the compass. And when you do that, they are pointed in that direction. Wow, there's a lot of trees. So remember, I'm gonna try to sight something. I see a couple trees that are in the same way I'm going. So I got my eye on those. So now I just count 26 paces. Are you ready? Here we go. 24, 25, 26 paces. On our bearing at 330 degrees, it's a tree, 26 paces, and we look down, and Eureka, we found the treasure. Let's open it and see what it is. Did we find it? Yes, we did, we found it. It was here the whole time. A lot of you may have doubts whether it is valuable or not, but it is very valuable. Like my camera person is really insisting that we exchange it for something very valuable if my camera person could get it out of her pocket. There it goes. Yes! And here you go. Exchange it. So it, it was worth a BSA Scout field book. 
The field book is something you'll get when you go into Scouts PSA and it will explain a lot more detail than land navigation, cooking, hiking, and all these great adventures that you could do outdoors. So thank you everybody for using your compass to find your treasure, knowing how to set your bearing using the compass and uh, following that straight line in the distance and walking it off to paces. So catch you on your next adventure. Compass challenge for everyone to do. Everyone go to uh, go in your backyard or front yard that has some uh, open space or you can go to a park with your parents and take out your compass and initially I want you to put something down like a marker, a book or something where you start and then on your compass I want you to set it to 120 degrees bearing and that that 120 degrees go 10 or 15 paces depending upon how big the park area you're at. So the first one is uh, 120 degrees 10 or 15 paces. After you finish that then I want you to stop then set your compass to 240 degrees. I want you then follow that for that 10 or 15 paces that you established and when you get there stop and then at that last point I want you to put your compass to 360 degrees or due north and from that go 10 to 15 paces and when you finish that tell tell me where you ended up 